What is going on Jet fans? Matt O'Leary back with another video. In today's video, I want to talk about how the New York Jets lost a pass rusher to a division rival. Uh, and that news only came out after the fact. We didn't know that the Jets were losing this player when Shaq Barrett signed with the Miami Dolphins instead, but he was on a podcast and thought and spoke about how he thought he was going to the New York Jets instead. But I want to tell you why it might not be the worst thing in the world if something else happens. So Shaq Barrett recently said that he thought he was going to the New York Jets until the Dolphins swooped in at the last minute. Here's the full quote. It's a little bit on the longer side, but I'll read it. He says, my agent was talking to me about potentially going to New York and it was New York all the way up until the day I ended up agreeing to terms with the Dolphins, Barrett said, and they just came out of left field. I love the prospect of going to New York, but the Dolphins, like they're just more established as a team. They're more proven at this point, and they've got some good guys in the room, like my pass rush room. So I was looking forward to partnering up with them guys and no state tax. That helps a lot. This is not the first time a state tax thing has come into play for the New York Jets. Losing a free agent, New Jersey versus Florida state tax is very, very different. And uh, guys could keep more of their money if they go to Florida or a state where they don't have the state tax. So moral of the story, they lose Shaq Barrett, who ends up signing a one year deal worth up to nine million dollars. So the worth up to is obviously the big the big key because the cap hit is going to be lower than that. It's going to be a deal that's incentivized up to nine million dollars. And like, let's be honest, Shaq Barrett was good last year. But he's not the 2019 to 2021 version of himself. He's still a productive player, but from 2019 to 2021, he was an elite level pass rusher. He, he's not that, but he's still solid. He played 62% of snaps last year for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, four and a half sacks, 49 pressures in that role. And again, solid numbers, but not that elite status that he once was. Have you ever Googled yourself and were shocked to see your personal information exposed on one of those public listing sites? Data brokers are making a fortune selling your information to robocalls, spammers, and others who want to learn more about you, like where you live. As a public figure, this type of stuff is an absolute nightmare for me. Private information should remain that, private. This is why I'm pumped to tell you about our new sponsor, Aura. Aura can identify data brokers exposing your information and submit opt-out requests on your behalf. Brokers are legally required to remove your info if you ask them to, but they make it super hard to do it. Let Aura handle that for you. You can try Aura for free for two weeks using my link, aura.com slash Matt O'Leary. Aura also does so much more to protect you and your family from online threats you can't see. It's really easy to set up so you don't have to download several different apps to get things like parental controls, antivirus, VPN, password management, identity theft insurance, and more. You get everything at one affordable price. Let Aura do the hard work of keeping you safe online so you can focus on other tasks with peace of mind. Once again, start your two week free trial by using my link and going to aura.com slash Matt O'Leary. The link is also in the description for this video, so make sure to check it out. While it's slightly frustrating that the Jets lose a player like that to the Miami Dolphins, if they choose to pivot and instead sign Jadavion Clowney in that same price range, which I think it would be, then I'd like to argue that Jadavion Clowney would be the better move. I'm not saying that in their primes, Clowney is better than Shaq Barrett. That's not the case. In their primes, Shaq Barrett was a significantly more effective pass rusher. But at this point in their careers, I mean, Jadavion Clowney had the better season last year. He had over 70 pressures and nine and a half sacks as a pass rusher. And then something else that you could factor in, and this has been the case for the entirety of their career, Clowney is much better as a run defender than Shaq Barrett ever was. So if you're getting a, a Jadavion Clowney who's at least like maybe last year is even an outlier season as a pass, pass rusher, let's say for Jadavion Clowney. And let's say he's in a similar 
50 pressure range, somewhere between four and six sacks. I would rather get that version of Jadavion Clowney than Shaq Barrett, who was coming off of 60% of the snaps, four and a half season, 49 pressure, four and a half sacks, 49 pressure season because of the added value that Jadavion Clowney has as a run defender on early downs. So the official Matt O'Leary stance on this one is, would Shaq Barrett have been a good addition to this Jets team? Yes, I'm not going to deny that. I'm not going to say that, oh, signing him would have been a mistake. That's not the case. But the pivot might actually be better. If the Jets pivot to Jadavion, as I you know, just expressed now, I think Jadavion Clowney at this point in his career is a better overall player than what Shaq Barrett is. Unless Shaq Barrett turns back the clock and has a 2019 or 2020 like season where he was at his best and putting up just absolutely insane numbers as a pass, pass rusher under Todd Bowles in Tampa Bay, then that's a completely different story. But I don't buy that that's what's going to happen here. Um, so he. he Obviously, can go to Miami. He'll probably be a situational pass rusher for them. I would expect him to have a similar season where he's playing maybe 50, 55 percent of snaps, somewhere between four and six sacks, pressures in that 45 to 55 range. And yeah, if the Jets add Jadavion, I would think he's probably six sacks, 50 to 60 pressures in a rotational role and a better run defender. So give me Jadavion Clowney is basically what I'm saying here. But I want to hear from you. Are you upset that the Jets lost Shaq Barrett to the Miami Dolphins? Would you be okay if they pivot to Jadavion Clowney? Let me know your thoughts on both of these subjects down below in the comment section. Please make sure to subscribe if you're new. Give the video a like before you go, and I will catch you next time.